What's going on everybody? Welcome to another video and today we're going to take a look at how to install the CXMB plugin for our PSP consoles and this will work for the PSP 1000, 2000, 3000 and the PSP Go. I already covered how to install it on the PSP Go so you can check that video out in the description if you're looking for that. And the CXMB plugin, it just allows us to have a much more custom theme on our system. As you can see, I have a very nice, clean, custom theme here running uh, with the icon slanted. And there's so much details that go into these custom themes and not enough credit goes to the creators. So I like to do different custom themes where I display them or showcase them on my channel. So if you're interested in taking a look at that, I'll have a playlist for you in the description down below so you can go check them all out. Let's go ahead and get started on the installation. It's fairly easy. Let's go to our USB connection and go on to our PC. And we got a nice, beautiful USB mode here for our wallpaper and a nice effect of the pedals. Very good. Moving on to our desktop, and here is our PSP USB drive. And go to the first link in the description, and that'll take you to mediafire.com. And this download, this CXMB plugin, will only work for the 6.60 Pro, ME, and LME. If you are on 6.61, here is this link for you. I'll have both links in the description down below. And I'm running off 6.60, and this demonstration is for that firmware. So I'm just going to move forward with this download here. And let's show in our folder. Perfect. And this will work for the same thing as the 6.61 firmware. So just follow these steps and you should be good to go. But if you'd like for me to make a separate video on 6.61, I can do that. So here's our zip file. Let's right click 7-zip extract here. Perfect. And you're going to get two different files. We're going to have a text file and a CXMB folder. So what we're going to do is copy this folder into the root of our PSP USB drive. As you can see, I already have it up here and I don't need to do that. So if you don't have a SE plugins folder, you're going to have to create that. And now we're going to open our CXMB folder and open up your SE, SE plugins folder. Sorry. And we're going to copy this PRX file into this folder. And I'm just going to copy that in there. Perfect. And we don't need the, the config text. So we're going to go back and we're going to copy this VSH text document into our SE plugins folder. As you can see, I already have it here. There it is. If you already have it, all you have to do is open it up using your notepad, wordpad, or something that will uh, open up a text document. So we'll open up this one too. And we're going to copy this line into your vsh.txt file on the PSP drive. And you want to have that as the first line. Then we're going to hit Control Save to save the document or go to File and Save. And the numbers here just represent that they're enabled or disabled. And one means enabled and zero means disabled in your recovery menu. And I'll show you that here in just a second. So we can exit out of this, exit out of this. Next, we're going to install some custom themes on our PSP. And you can use the third link in the description and that'll take you to github.com. And there are a bunch of different custom themes you can download and check out. And you can also Google uh, custom themes for PSP and there's just a bunch of sources out there. Um, so what we're gonna do is just use the first one here, Anime Girls. I'm gonna download that. Let's download. 6.63 megabytes. So here it is, it's a CTF file, and we're going to go into our PSP folder and use the theme folder, and we're just going to copy this into here. And not all themes are going to work for the 6.60 
uh, CXMB and you're gonna have to convert some of them as you can see most of these are already converted to 6.60 and I do have a video on how to convert themes and I'll leave that in the description down below that way you can install any theme you'd want uh, if it doesn't work so and hopefully we can do a demonstration on that so you guys can see if it doesn't work or not so let's go into our PSP and install the plugin once you disconnect from USB connection go to select and this will pop up the VSH menu go down to recovery menu go under plugins and make sure the cxmb.prx is enabled and now what you want to do is go back and you want to select a certain theme here but before we do that you would have to uh, press select and reset your VSH once you reset it it will reboot and all the themes that you have installed are going to be under theme here and you can see all the different themes that I got going on here which is nice and the latest one that I installed is going to be anime girls and that's this one here and it looks like it's working just fine so let's apply that and check it out There goes my remote joy light. There we go. Nice. <laughs> it works. Very good. And as you can see, we got a unique <laughs> custom theme. Not a big fan of this one. Uh, I like to be a little bit more cleaner than this, but can't go wrong with having some anime girls as your icons and uh, there's so much different features when it comes to a custom theme for example if you go to games and we press the triangle we go to information and you can see a nice little detail of the blue arrows and the white arrows or the one white arrow two blue arrows and the slanted icon at the top which is nice so it's pretty cool and there's so many little things that they hide and sometimes you just want to go look for them a little bit and one of them I think is the background a lot of people don't know this but if you change the background on some of them you will get a different effect uh, for example we have an original background we have the classic but the classic looks a lot I don't know it's a lot different than what we're used to with the classic uh, background um, this has more of like a neon lights going across and sometimes you will have a custom wallpaper which is pretty cool so one of the good examples of a very good custom theme I'll show you here and I already featured this one on my channel so if you're interested I'll have that link in the description down below for you as well so it's just gonna restart here real quick and hopefully my remote joy light doesn't die on me as it sometimes doesn't like the whole uh, reset and instead of the Sony PSP logo we get another different logo and you can see that the icons are now at the bottom of the screen which is pretty cool and so it's just more unique and it makes it just gives it a better feel uh, one of the best plugins that I totally forgot to cover on the channel here but I'm glad to bring it for you today and if we go to theme settings and you can see the little butterfly that loads up which is nice and also different this is one of the best themes I've ever seen and you can see that the uh, controls for the audio is pretty cool we have like this 3d effect going on which is sick and let's go to our background now you can see that we have a custom theme wallpaper which is uh, the one we're looking at right now and then you can add your own wallpaper which is nice then we have a tasty treat but let's take a look at the classic here and look at that we have like kinda like this liquid going on here and we have this spinning cube which I think is so cool this is what makes a custom theme pretty badass and then we go to our original and we have the original background with the cube and if we go to tasty treat we have like these particles that kind of fly around 
you can see that and the neon lights going across which is pretty cool and I think that's a I don't I don't think the wall okay so the wallpaper does have that too so it's basically any wallpaper and you have a nice little detail there so and that's basically it that is how you install the CXMB onto your PSP system if you guys have any questions as always comment down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video like this one if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up take care guys and I will see you on the next one